Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Sorry for the delay with the cards for the week. Um, I've been a little bit poorly at the beginning of the week, so I've not really had much of an opportunity to do this. So I'm just going to pop down these cards quickly for us for the rest of the week and for the weekend so that we can um, have a little look and see what the tarot has in store for us today and see what we get. Sorry, I'm a bit, a bit clumsy today. So, let me just smooth that out a little bit. Okay, let's see. Have a little shuffle. Let's see what the tarot has for us for the rest of the week. There we go. So, first card I have is the devil. So, the devil is... Um, not a bad card okay so no freaking out um the devil talks about feeling that you might be trapped in something when actually you're not on the whole that's why the devil comes up i mean it has loads like all the tarot it's got loads of different meanings um but in general when it comes up in a general card like this i would say to you to think about you know if you're feeling really trapped in something really bogged down then you know you don't have to be that's what this is card is saying basically is although you may feel like there's no escape there actually is so don't be too kind of stuck and believing that you're stuck um it's a bit like the hanged man really but a more kind of constrained feeling so the hanged man is sort of i'm stuck here and it's all a bit boring and i just oh this is a bit of a nightmare running out of patience all that um whereas the devil is i'm trapped here and i can't do anything about it and i'm and i really don't like it so i'm kind of fighting against it so that's the devil the devil also talks about repeating patterns that are not particularly brilliant for you so you know when you are you know that actually it's not that good for you to get up every morning and have um i don't know bar of chocolate um <laughs> but you keep doing it anyway so it's it's talking about repeating those patterns so you know getting into relationships with people that you know aren't really very good for you you know that you know it's like you know people that say they fall for the bad boy and to be honest with you I, i've been that person so you know it does talk about that so we've got talking about bad boy here is a ginger bad boy chinook nobody wants to see your bottom chinook chinook you want to say hi? You want to say hi? Say hi then. That's your back. Oh, Nook. Sorry, he's just going to sit all over everything because he's in a naughty mood today. He got a little bit of the devil in him, I think. <laughs> so, this is the naughty devil. And it can come up for mischief, you know. It comes up for mischievous behaviour, all that kind of thing. Um, so don't freak out. <laughs> Look, he's just so cute. How could you not love that cat? Um, so don't freak out too much. I would say don't um, don't don't kind of look at the devil card and freak out. Just be aware of it. Be aware of the energy that says, you know, I'm stuck in this and I can't break free. Because actually, you really can break free. So that's an energy for us for the um, the week the rest of the week so i'm just going to pop down an oracle card to go with this um if chinook will let me let's just have a quick look and see this is the energy oracle no it's not it's the gateway oracle um by denise lynn um that i've been using lately so i'm just going to have one of those to go with this Okay, so this card is stepping into stillness. So it goes quite nicely with the devil, really, because the devil's kind of saying you're trapped in a pattern, you're trapped in a pattern, you feel like you're trapped in a pattern when you're actually not. Sometimes what we need to do to kind of break free of that pattern is to just be still, you know, just to have that moment where we can just be calm and we can be still 
and we can allow ourselves to kind of relax, have a bit of a meditate, um, have a bit of a sit on on a load of things that you're not supposed to be sitting on, maybe, have a little sniff around things. Um, you know, cats are, are actually a perfect example of, of being able to do this. They don't care. They will just find somewhere to sit down, doesn't matter where it is. It might look to us as though it's the most super uncomfortable place in the world, but they seem to love it and they'll just sit anywhere. Um, you know, if there's a postage stamp on the floor, they will sit on it. Um, so it's almost just like sometimes I've got, I mean, I've got comfy stuff everywhere for them, blankets and cushions and sofas and beds. Um, but they'll go and sit on a box of, of paperwork with a load of plugs in it um, that must be poking into them, but they don't seem to care. So it, this a, a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a sort of leap but that's what these cards are saying you know is to just find a place that you can sit quietly and and just allow the world to pass you by a little bit just be able to quietly dis, you know sort of find your power really and when we're stuck in that energy of the devil, oh, I'm trapped and I can't get free of this and, and I keep repeating the same thing over and over and over, what we need to do is to stop and to just be quiet and to be still for a little while so that our higher energy can start to kind of unravel things a little bit for us and to make a little bit more sense of it. Well, we're going to leave that there for today because I'm conscious of not making it too long just because I want to get this uploaded because I know that I'm late with it and once again, apologies for that. I will leave that with you for the time being. I'll just let you Nook say goodbye. You say goodbye, Nook. You say goodbye. Say bye. No. Bye then. Bye, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll speak to you again next week. Bye for now. Yep. Goodbye. <laughs>